Self-discipline, the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Self-discipline, the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. Mental practice, fighting off impulses, it's time to start working your self-discipline muscle. Number one, define the reason and reward for changing a behavior. And you gotta write this down. So let's say you wanna change your diet. Well, the reason might be you don't feel very good, or you don't like the way you look, or maybe there's a health concern. The reward, you'll feel much better. You're gonna start liking the way you look and you're most definitely going to improve your overall health. Number two, sometimes you gotta protect yourself from yourself. And what I mean by that is you have to have built-in things that help you improve your discipline. Let's say you have an issue when you go to the mall, you're always spending too much money. Set a limit. You can say something like in advance, I know I'm about to head to the mall, so I'm only gonna take X amount of dollars. I'm gonna leave my credit card at home. I'm gonna grab my ID, put it in my pocket or my purse. I'm gonna set myself up to where if I get an impulse, because self-discipline is fighting those impulses, I can't even spend any extra money. Number three, accountability partners. Don't be scared to reach out for some help. You might be talking to your homeboy, you might be talking to your homegirl. Listen, I am struggling in this area. Can you please call me? Because I'm telling you, this is what I want to do. But every time I say I want to do it, I fall short. So I need you to hold me accountable. Number four, self-punishment, self-reward. You know what you're supposed to do. You made the choice, you made a decision and said, listen, I'm going to do this no matter what. And at times we fall short, don't get it done. Self-discipline just go right down the drain. That's when we have to set up some personal punishments for ourselves. Don't be nothing crazy. Just say, hey, I can't do this until I get that done. I can't do that until I get this done. You have to set up some little boundaries for yourself, just like in real life, because if you don't do certain things, there's gonna be a natural punishment that comes with it. But in the same token, you gotta celebrate the small wins, self-reward. So when you do get that thing done that you said you were gonna do, that you've been struggling with, you gotta reward yourself. You gotta pat yourself on the back. I get to do this because I did that. I get to do that because I did this. And finally, number five, change your identity. Change how you identify with a certain situation. So if you're struggling to say, let's say stop smoking, and you made the choice, I'm gonna stop smoking. And somebody asks you if you wanna have a smoke, instead of just saying no thank you, say no, I'm not a smoker. Start changing the way you look at the situation and that'll help you start being stronger in that self-discipline department. You gotta follow through. I'm a basketball coach. And when we're teaching our players how to shoot, we always tell them at the end of the shot, follow through. Give it that little extra push. I'm telling you, anything that you're doing as it relates to self-discipline, you gotta follow through. Commit to being a master of self-discipline and ultimately you're committing to dominating your life and winning each and every day. And once you do that, you find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.